Saturday morning. I think it's the 18th of June, and I've just left Springfield, having had a great time at the rally, the MOA rally, and uh, now I'm headed for Palestine, Texas, where I'll be overnighting on the way home. Expected to be another hot day. I think I got like 444 miles to do, and uh, mostly super slabbing it. I don't think I'll be going off uh, off the super slab too much today, uh, but that's all right because the less time I can spend in this heat, the better. Uh, it's going to go up to mid 90s, I expect, and um, so. But at least no rain, although I don't mind riding in the rain with this suit on. So, yeah, bring on the rain if you want. <laughs> at least it'll be cooler. Good riddance to all of these bloody tolls here. I'm on this turnpike. Paid like four tolls, like ten bucks. Can't believe it. Ten bucks. Just to ride on a shitty road. The road is not even good. It's not bad, but... Man. Gotta remember to avoid this state. Either that or avoid the... Uh, avoid the toll roads, toll roads here in Oklahoma. Not impressed. It wanted me to turn right on that. I think this 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 GPS is all messed up here now. I just want to get out of Oklahoma. Turn right on Chapta Industrial Drive. Which is where? This thing here. Why? I'll pick this up in a while. Well, I think I'm finally getting out of this nightmare that is Oklahoma. After four tolls, then I got low on gas. The Garmin managed to get me lost into some farm area. And I was getting, getting all anxious about uh, running out of gas. And I just wanted to get out of the bloody state. My God, what a bloody place. Oh. Welcome to Texas. No toll roads here. Never again passing through Oklahoma. Or I'll have to make sure that I program no tolls into the, into the GPS. Now I gotta find somewhere to eat before I go crazy. Oh, and when I did find a uh, uh, turn around to get gas, uh, find some gas stations, they were out of gas or not working. <laughs> Can you imagine? Bloody place is a dive. Ended up finding a shell gas station in Hugo. Some little town called Hugo. At least they had gas. This is going to send me some down FM 906. I don't know if there's going to be any towns on that, but where to eat? We'll find out. I'm starving. Well, we are entering Palestine. Welcome to Palestine. I think I've got to turn left here. This thing isn't telling me. So yeah, this has been a much longer ride than I expected. Uh, time is now 5.26. Uh, I thought I was going to get here uh, about 4, 4.30. But uh, after having 
uh, the Garmin fail and lose me in in uh, Oklahoma just before the Texas border and waste a lot of time and then I had to go search for gas what a what a what a messed up day that was because of that but uh, the bike itself performed very well I mean the temperature was really high today and uh, saw, I saw up to 100 and um, but no Tracer performed well and uh, I was using regular gas all, all throughout. Uh, last thankful I'm going to give it to uh, Supreme. Mama Seafood. Got to look for a subtle place. Probably go to supper before I check in actually. Because I don't feel like going in and coming back out really. But we'll see. So I'm using my phone and I ditched the Garmin for today. I'm not using that to navigate because it was kept, it kept um, rerouting because of, uh, I forgot the name of the damn place. <laughs> It kept rerouting because of traffic and all of that stuff, and that's what was adding to the route and getting 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 it all messed up and confused. And uh, so I think that was the large. I mean, there was no traffic really. I mean, I don't know what it was getting all you know saying all that rerouting business for. But uh, what is the name of the place again? I can't remember. It's not this one. <laughs> and it's not Motel 6. I think... What's this? Express... In... I think that's it. That might be it. I'm gonna go and check my phone. I think this might be it. Pretty bad when you can't remember where you booked. Express Inn and Suites. Yep, it's here. Room is not too bad Express at Express Inns and Suites. The lights are dim. But, uh, He's got a couch. Microwave. Armoire. Fridge. TV. Yep, pretty good. And the bathroom looks okay. Let's see if it works. I'll be having a shower in a few minutes. But yeah, pretty good. Cost 80 bucks. The location isn't too bad, but uh, seen a few people here that are, eh, you know, don't look like the best type of clientele, but um, as long as they keep quiet and behave, then I have no problem. It's probably better than uh, the place that I stayed when I was coming up last Saturday. So, let's see how it goes. Look what I found. 